Hello and welcome to Crafty Club. Today I'll be showing you how to make a tic-tac-toe set out of a burlap bag and rocks. So for this, you're going to need a burlap bag of any size as long as it's large enough to fit your whole board. You're going to need fabric markers to draw the board on the fab or on the burlap bag. You're going to need eight different rocks. These are kind of bigger, so we'll have one letter be this and I'll have another letter be that. You're going to need paint markers and you're going to need a ruler. First step is going to be to write X and O on all of your rocks. So I have four that'll be X and four that'll be O. So the X's I have bigger rocks and for the O's I have smaller rocks just so there is even more of a contrast. So two of my paint markers here. And so you can either color them all in or just write the X or the O on. So you wanna make sure that you get rocks that are kind of flat so it's, they're easy to write on. All right, so you're just gonna write X on four of them and then O on the other four. So I think I'll write them all and then I'll probably let them dry for a while. So I'll write X, X, X. So make sure you pick a color that'll show up. X, X, X. And then I'm going to go ahead and do all these and I'll come back once. So I did all the letters on all the rocks and so the perfect example of having to switch colors is I was going to do these two, but this one didn't show up. So I just tested out this one and this one worked. So you're just going to put those aside and dry. Once they dry, I'm just going to write them on the other side. So it doesn't matter which side you have up. So we'll just put those aside. And then if you, now it's time to draw the board on the bag. So if you want to make it precise and you can use a pencil to go ahead and trace over. So it's just, you know, tic-tac-toe lines. So let's see, I'll, I'm going to do six inches and then I will have them just draw the line. It'll give you more of a guide if you want. If you don't want to, you just want to go ahead and use pencil. I mean, go ahead and use the marker, then that's fine too. Whatever you want. Okay, so I have those two lines going that way. So six inches, so I think I'll do one at two, another one at four. So let's mark two inches. Make sure you don't go do it too close because this will cinch up when you close the bag so you don't want it to, you want to be able to see the board. So just keep that in mind when you're drawing the line. So we'll do it two inches down and we'll do it all the way across. And then for coloring it in, you're just going to need your fabric marker. And so my fabric markers, what you have to do is you have to leave them for 24 hours and then iron them on. So just make sure that you read the instructions to make sure that you're doing what you need to to make sure that it all um, stays in the fabric. All right, so I have that. The rule is just gonna help me make it all straight. And so then I'm just going to take my fabric marker and then we'll trace over the lines. Make sure that you're going far enough away from the line that it'll actually be on it because you want it to as neat as possible. I'll probably go over it many times. Then we'll have our next line. And you're just going to keep going on all over the lines, making sure that you put enough ink on it so, you, so it's nice and solid. So I've drawn the board, so I'm just going to put that aside and we'll let that dry. And so these are dry, so I'm just going to flip them over. And then I'll do the other side of them. That way it doesn't, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter which side you put up. And it's just easier to not have to flip them all over. So just shake. Make sure if you're new to using these types of markers that you read the instructions on how to activate them because you have to shake them and then you have to press the tip down, at least for these ones, so that's what you have to do. So I'm just going to write X and O's on all of these. And if you are doing the whole thing, like you're coloring the whole thing a solid color, then um, just, I would color half of it first and then let, let that half dry so that when you put it on the other side, it doesn't bleed through. So, um, um, 
just have to let the canvas bag dry and then I'll iron it once it's been a day. So now I have all my letters done. So once again, I'm just going to let my bag dry and then I'll iron it. But this is a really easy craft and just make sure when you're picking out your rocks that they're going to fit in all of the squares. Cause if you pick one out that's like, let's say you pick one out that's both of these, they're barely gonna fit and they're gonna overlap. So just make sure to keep that in mind when you're making it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching this video on Crafty Club today. Please be sure to like and subscribe.